2% chance of killing patients on top of normal health adjustments. I need staff for my boning chamber, which just sounds wrong. Who wants to work in the boning chamber? I can't wait to see this hospital up and running. Neither can I. Today I am checking out a new hospital simulator game called Galacticare. It released this month and also dropped on Xbox Game Pass. So if you have Game Pass, go check it out. Let's jump right in. I have no idea what to expect. I have zero expectations. Chapter one, orientation. Thank you, I'll need an orientation. Greetings, director. Let me be the first to congratulate you on your appointment. Ms. Orion and I are excited to see how you'll rise to the occasion. We're establishing our first facility right here in orbit around Earth. Ms. Orion is already on site. Let's get this thing kicked off, shall we? I feel like I'm being talked to by Codsworth in Fallout. <laughs> Apparently I'm also the director, but I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. I've just walked in on the director level. Glistening before you and silhouetted against the green marble of Earth is Galactic Air's newest high orbit station and your first hospital. I'm Heal, the AP assigned oh. to all of Galactic Air's extrasolar operations. Think of me as your personal assistant, for it is my duty to assist you in all things healthcare as we strike out amongst the stars. So this hospital is literally just floating in space. Okay, when I saw Galacticare, for some reason, I thought we would be like on different planets or moons. I didn't realize it was just a hospital floating through space. Incoming calls. Incoming calls will wait indefinitely. Take your time to answer them when you're ready to continue. Some characters may react to waiting in unexpected ways. The prompt at the bottom right of your user interface will answer her call. There's no rush. Contacts will wait for you to answer. Good, because I don't even have the lay of the land of the hospital yet. What are we going to... So, like, this looks like storage, but I'm sure we're going to be treating patients in here. We've got a main room. This looks like an escape pod. This is where... Ah, uh, yes, this is, <laughs> this is where they enter and leave, but it looks like this is where we're just going to no shoot them into space. Whatsoever. Director, answer Cora's call in the bottom right of your interface when you please. Okay, but it sounds like you're trying to rush me because I'm just trying to take everything in. Another room. Okay, we got three rooms off a main lobby. We got a couple of bots here. A medibot. Three, three medibots? All right, let's answer the call. Bonjour, guten tag, moshi moshi director, and welcome to Galacticare. It's time to bring this dream of ours to life. I can't wait to see this hospital up and running. Personally, Neither can I. <laughs> I'm not one for all this nitty gritty management stuff. I'd much rather be in the lab. So that's why you're here. Remember, if you ever feel lost, you can review your objectives in the top right corner of your interface. To do healthcare, we will require both a reception to do desk healthcare. and the diagnosis room. Let's first place a reception desk so that we can process patients as they arrive. I like I've the idea. The menu in which you will find said desk. Why do I feel like I've been hired just to be the fall guy when something goes wrong? When something inevitably goes wrong when you've built a hospital in space? we got options. Reception desk, double. Doubly efficient at checking patients in, but also terrible gossips. Just a regular reception desk for all those who want to tell patients where to go. While vast empty spaces are oddly captivating, we do occasionally need to build things in order to provide the healthcare. A reception desk in this case. Damn, the robots have got attitude already. For all those who want to tell patients where to go. Oh, this one's just like a quarter one. This is a straight one. So a double cost a thousand. I mean, I have 75,000 gold. Let's get the gossiping robots. Uh, I can rotate. So they're coming in here. So we kind of want to, I mean, there might be a bit of a waiting area. This medibot is in the way. Thank you. Oh, there's variants. Hold on, let's zoom in. Oh, we can get different things on the desk. What kind of plants do we want? I kind of like this one. Do I with the little wait sign? Okay, I'm going to do this one. Wonderfully placed. There we go. Now all we need is a diagnosis room. Ms. Orion should be calling with the details momentarily. Can I move this? I just want to center it. There we go. I need a diagnosis room. Oh, you're calling. Hello? 
The diagnosis room is our patient's first step on the road to recovery. It's where we evaluate what's gone wrong with their meaty bodies. Also, meaty tiny bodies. drones come out of it, which is very cool and entirely necessary. Ah, oh, this just all feels like an experiment that's going to go wrong. Minimum room size 3x3. Three three. Let's get that diagnosis room up and running. If you're ever unsure what to do, select any of your objectives and I'll help to point you in the right direction. Rooms. Diagnosis room. With the room selected, you can now begin to place the blueprint. Choose a starting point, shape it to your desired footprint, and click build to confirm. Alright, can I put it in this corner? I'm assuming we can only use this main room so far. Like, the other rooms are locked. We can't use them. Wonderful. Uh, however, an empty room will not by itself facilitate the healthcare. We must first place a door and then the room's required objects. In the case of diagnosis, we need a desk and a display. Your construction display will show you simple, easy methods to improve your room's value. Potted plants are all the rage at the moment. A door. Okay, so the room needs a door. Oh, no, this takes up so much space in the room. The room is, like, so tiny now. Um, can I put the diagnosis on this wall? There we go. Really small diagnosis room. Yeah, that's the diagnosis room, Eddie. Now we'll need a treatment room. Ms. Ryan will be in touch with the juicy details. I'm going to move this forward. This is going to be the waiting area down here. What details you got? Skin! Everyone has it. Unless they have an exoskeleton. Or nothing at all. The skin lab uses proprietary chemicals to coat our patients in a gentle foam, which strips off their outsides and rebuilds them from scratch. It's relatively painless. I use the skin lab instead of a shower sometimes. So we're not treating people, we're just rebuilding them from scratch to make them better. I cannot wait to see people come in here and get treated. <laughs> there is going to be deaths for sure. Build a skin lab just like that, easy. Skin lab, 5,000. Must be at least 3 by 4 Has a door. Okay. Well, if diagnosis is on that side of the room, treatment is on this side of the room. Oh, you can make the room spacious. I guess I can make it the treatment room spacious. Why not? And then we get... A little door in. Oh. Oh, no. That's not going to fit. Can I rotate this? Put that in that corner. Add three, oh, add a room. I can add decorations and things. What is this? An advert tower. A skin lab poster. Yes, the skin lab needs a skin lab poster. Bio canisters. Confirm. Excellent. We have our first rooms. More to come, I'm sure. However, I think there's still something missing. Staff. As a healthcare organization, we will need some doctors. Pop up yes. in the recruitment menu on the left-hand bar and review your various candidates. Who have I got? And there they are, Director. You can see their name, species, and traits that are unique to them. Name, we have species, and, and traits. And are restricted to them for reasons which I can assure you are culturally sensitive. I'm certain you'll come to find the unique traits of the galaxy's different sapiens particularly helpful for your work. Choose a candidate when you're ready. <laughs> Who do I pick? Are they all the same? What are these? Sluggish? All treatments are four seconds slow. Okay, you're not getting hired. Increased damage to treatment rooms? Oh, these are all bad things. 2% chance of killing patients on top of normal health adjustments. Reduced experience generated. Nearby characters are upset. Reduce experience share. Okay, the four seconds slower is sounding like the best option now. What is the good traits? Diplomatic. Additional influence generated. Gains increased mood when not hungry. 
energy need reduced yeah, i think i'm gonna hire susanna idol lvi wait 56 susanna idol the 56th i think is getting hired you can place that newly hired doctor wherever you like even directly in a room which will assign it as their primary task apparently these guys can do everything you can put them wherever you want you can go in there centrifuge tovi the 22nd what a name so i need to hire someone for this room maybe amy sponger can be hired over here excellent work your new staff will set about their tasks in your rooms, aiding our soon-to-be patients. Doctors Excellent. gain experience as they work. And more experienced doctors are, as you'd imagine, better at things. Due to capitalism, staff require payment on a regular basis. So do be sure not to over-hire and inflate your expenses. An excellent set of rooms and doctors, Director, that will surely excel at treating patients. You should be commended for your ambition. Speaking of which, your legally mandated commendation, known in human society as payment, <laughs> is yours to claim. Hey, I got paid. How much am I getting paid? 20,000? I'm paying my staff a thousand. I get 20,000 for putting up a couple rooms. Feels good to be at the top. Used to acquire special unlocks from the Galactic Exchange. Human influence. Used to craft room upgrades, corridor upgrades, and consumables. Claim. We are ready to open the hospital. Are we? Let's see if we can't get our patients we have two rooms. to their rent pods in one piece. Oh, I don't know if I want to open the ho hold on. Hold on. I feel like the hospital need like this room I didn't even decorate. Edit room. Make it a little bigger. Give give them a little space. Alright, this is better. Oh. Okay. Now let's add some decoration. What do we got? Brain poster? I'm gonna cause the uh, hospital to go broke from decorating. That's what's going to happen. I can see it now. Oh, we can have a little window. Oh, that's too big. Yeah, it's got a little window in the room. We don't have a lot. To, there's like no chairs or anything. Like, there's some counters. Line long. Oh, we can create lines? Oh, we can send people in certain directions. Hazard strips? This is the stuff that can go in the room. Okay not a lot let's get put some plants in i guess oh, i forgot we had the diagnosis board over here can we let's move that over here that's a better looking room all right i guess i guess we just open now ready to begin I hope so. Would you like to open your hospital? Once open, it cannot be closed again. <laughs> okay, it's and open. Away we go. Time to treat some of these poor fellows. Patients are arriving now, Director. They shall scuttle about our hospital and deposit their various detritus within its once sterile halls. Okay, here they come. Just one pa- oh, they've got a broken arm. Just one patient so far. Alright, let's see these robots do their job. <gasps> There's a galactical person. Human with space invasion. There's a shattered arm. Oh. rather keen to introduce you to the <gasps> There's so many the patients. Call icon should be at the bottom right, director. Where is the ode? The ode are a curious bunch. Although they're all clones, they revere old age, competing with each other to see who can live in any one body the longest. They're Once clones. they retired from their dreams of galactic empire, they developed an odd fascination with humanity. It began with crop circles and cow abductions and ended up in appropriating the most problematic parts of 1950s earth culture, surf rock, and traditional Oh, there is so roles. much lore about these guys. Dang. Um, I feel like I need to create a waiting area. Like, look at all these people that I got coming through and they've got nothing... Nowhere to even sit. 
I'm gonna put like a long bench over here. Do the same on the other side. Alright, now people have somewhere to sit. I'm gonna put a vending machine in. The call for Mizoran's brief on humanity contains. Shh, 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 Little advertising board. Do we get paid for advertisement? All right. What do you need to tell me about the humans? Humans. We love them. They are us sometimes. Not always though. Humans are a lot of things. And one of those things is that they're social beings. They'll improve our influence whenever they complete treatments. Also, they've accidentally engineered a dystopia where corporations have become kingdoms. So that's great. Ah, uh, sorry. That's a conversation for another time, I guess. That is great, isn't it? That is great. <laughs> ah, it appears we've received a patient with a shattered arm. Let's inspect them and see if we can't mend their appendage. Oh, I have to mend their appendage? Second. Behold the patient panel. Behold the patient the panel. Condition track. This fellow's condition requires them to be reboned, and for that, we'll need a boning chamber. We need a boning chamber? I didn't build one of those. Also, who threw up on the floor? Oh, my Betty Bot cleaned it up. Alright. The boning chamber! A retrofitted mining machine, which chomps fresh minty new skeletons directly into our patient. It was a An mining machine? fitted the schematic with internal cameras. For personal reasons? That'll teach me to poach star from Salazan. It needs a 4x4 four four uh, room. The boning chamber. A fine room indeed. I do rather admire the machine in there. Rather charming, actually. I think I'll call him Harold. I have the foggiest idea why. A boning chamber, okay. Where do I put the boning chamber? Up in this corner? What does it need? A 4x4. Four four. You might as well take this whole space. Then you get a door. Oh my god, this takes up the whole space. If we do this and I move the door up here, okay, that's better. You may find yourself running short on space in our initial hospital area. You can yeah. check other nearby areas by selecting them and paying a small fee. Uh, to whom small I, fee. I'm not sure. Well, now that we've got a few treatment rooms up and running, let's talk about keeping our staff and patients happy. Let's oh, expect one of our doctors to grasp the full extent of their needs. Um, hold on, I need staff for my boning chamber, which just sounds wrong. Who wants to work in the boning chamber? <laughs> oh, someone who's a sociopath, that could work. Marge Selt. Does anyone have like a bone name? Ox McCartney, Octavia Bishop, Tina Cloyd, Galadriel Spam Tart. Does fast treatments though? You're hired. Welcome to the boning chamber. All right, select. Through this panel, we can see the various qualities and needs that define our doctor. This is their mood. What is that machine happy doing? Doctor will perform their job efficiently, whereas an unhappy doctor is more likely to make mistakes. If their mood gets too low, they may simply leave. You can see the various thoughts and feelings impacting their mood here. For example, witnessing the death of a patient may result in a degree of momentary sadness. Physical needs like hunger and energy are fulfilled by vending machines, staff lounges, toilets, and so on. By the looks of things, this individual needs to unwind in a staff lounge. We need a staff lounge now? So, a staff lounge, a coffee table with a hypnotic lava orb containment field. That's pretty cool. Will we get armchairs in here? All right. We'll need to build a staff lounge, lest our employees descend into absolute madness. We should also ensure we provide both staff and patients with places to sit, uh, something to eat, and toilets in which they may relieve themselves. Okay, that's a lot of a lot of things, a lot of an, uh, amenities. Okay. Place vending machines. I'm already ahead of the game with that one. All right. I feel like the staff room should be like in a different zone. Can I purchase this? Activated. Alright, we have all this space now. 
room, staff lounge, minimum size three by three. I'm gonna do a staff lounge over here. Room is spacious. Increase the size of you. This does not seem like a spacious staff room. Let's try this again. Staff lounge. Now that's a spacious staff lounge. Do a little lounge space over here, I guess. Ooh, some armchairs. Path is not. Oh, I've got this backwards. I'm like, why can't I place a lounge here? There's a lounge. Guys, do you want like a window? I can give you a window. Oh, we could do two little round windows on the end. Like this. Can I put... I'm going to put some vending machines in the staff room. Because they need snacks. Two like that. I think that we could also give them some plants. They'll probably like that. We can make them different colors. Can we make other things different colors? Not the chairs. Because that's part of the staff lounge. What about the vending machines? <gasps> we can! We can make everything different colors. That's so cool. All right, so we can change the colors of a bunch of stuff. What about the plants? Can they change color? Yes? No? Is something changing? Hold on, let's get real close. Oh, just the bottom. Is it? Yeah, the bottom is changing. I guess we just make that purple go on theme. All right, I hope everybody enjoys the uh, start. What is this? Oh, I need to do amenities. That's right. I need to... I guess I'll put the bathrooms in this corner. Toilet pod. Does that mean I don't need a room? I can just like put it out in the corridor? We just make little a little toilet pod station. And I need some I need some bins. Okay. Bins. Bins can be. I kind of want bins near the vending machine. It's getting very crowded over here, though. Put a bin near the exit. The required facilities have been installed, and the number of organics who've relieved themselves in the hospital has slipped under the bar for legal concern. Bravo, Director. You have provided everything organics need for a state of mild comfort. A <laughs> state of mild comfort. Oh, I get paid again? Oh, only 10,000 this time? My pay's gone down. I'll take it. Director, it's time to meet your marginally useful maintenance crew. This is a Medibot. They've been purchased at low cost and reprogrammed to maintain our equipment and clean up various forms of vomit. Reprogrammed from what? Waving. What May, did they used to do? Waving? Are you waving your awful little hands? <gasps> it appears Don't that be mean to the Medibot. to speak to you. Uh, not to worry, I doubt it has much to say. Hello, new director. It's me, Medi. Heel says I'm a toaster, oh. and that I might actually be useful if I was dropped in someone's bathtub. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, that comment is slightly off out of context, what? Director, but you may rest assured that Medi has no clue what's going on. Do we have well, a HR department because we need so. one? Also, Heel keeps saying I'm a fake boy, and being programmed to imitate humanity is a disgrace. He's my best friend! Medi, you don't have any friends because you're not real. Of course I do. Because you're my friend. And so is this giant creature who's about to eat the station. Bugger me. Ooh, what the world what is, is going that? On? Hello there. I think it's okay, Heel. It's just a really big alien. First of all, Medi, it's a colossal. Secondly, please refrain from use of the term alien in reference to long human sapiens. Director, the alien is somehow hailing us, though not on any identifiable <laughs> just called it an alien after you said not to. It's directly pushing buttons inside the station's systems. And in the absence of any better ideas, 
Perhaps it's best to uh, pick up the phone. What is your name? Bezanorthogoria, also known as Baz to his friends. Bezanorthogoria. Right. Electronic and eukaryotic persons of Galactica. I am Bazanorothorgoria. I was pretty close. Baz is also fine, in the interests of brevity. I developed these painful glowing spots about mm, 4,000 years ago. I wondered if you could come and have a look at me. Director. This is an opportunity we can't pass up. Colossals are notoriously elusive. Few even get to talk to them. Okay. Let alone get all up in their biology. Let's help him All out. up in First, their biology. We need to dispatch a ship from the shuttle bay to take a biopsy. That'll let us take a look at all the deliciously novel gubbins inside our new friend. Dispatch the, the shuttle. shuttle is ready to dispatch at your command, Director. Shuttle bay. Sometimes a problem is too big for the hospital and you'll need to dispatch a shuttle in order to deal with it in va the vacuum of space. You can do this by clicking on the icon above the shuttle bay. Alright, let's send this craft out. And away she goes! Our shuttle will collect the sample from Baz via a gentle, non-invasive surgical translocation beam. It feels great. Like scratching an itch. Don't ask me how I know. <laughs> Ooh, that feels nice. A bit like scratching an old itch. Told ya. The shuttle is back with the sample we just took. It'll now be unloaded from the shuttle in an adorable canister. AI-driven medical devices, which behave much like patients do. Just with less, you know brains we'll need to send it to diagnosis to figure out our next steps remember you can always select the relevant task in the objective window for more information director we'll want that canister to make it through its diagnosis as quickly as possible fortunately you can set it as a priority everything's run by ai these days okay so i can set this as a priority i don't know if i have the ability to diagnose this Hit the priority button here to make sure the canister is seen to as quickly. Prioritizing a patient or canister in this manner will place it at the front of any queue it joins. You should use this for, no, well, anything you like really, but emergencies in particular. Mm-hmm, okay, okay. What's being taken? Where are you going? Where are you gonna go? Oh, to the diagnosis lab. That makes sense. Where are you going? Oh, you're going back to the ship. I need more chairs in my waiting room. Or, like, more benches. Let's make another row. Now it feels like a real hospital waiting room. Baz's skin is remarkable. I've already identified seven brand new proteins. This will redefine our understanding of what meat can be, despite his freaky space flesh. I don't see why we couldn't fix him up with a new cocktail from our skin lab. Now it's time for those canisters to go in the other direction. Let's fill some up, load them into a shuttle, and hose down our new friend with a pharmaceutical cocktail strong enough to melt turbo steel beams. I guess I should uh, build more rooms, right? Like I should probably have more treatment rooms while we're waiting for that. So what if I have a whole bunch of diagnosis happening in the main room? Skin lab. Director? Yes? Some mean 
looking mollusks just entered the hospital. Yes, what? Betty. Uh, those are vomit tongues. They'll bite any sapiens they encounter, causing their victim to evacuate their guts directly onto the floor. Oh, Director, get Manny them. is perfectly capable of dispatching these vomit tongues himself. But if you fancy it, you can use the station's coils to eject the pests from our mortal coil. <laughs> Just a, a little death-based pun for your private enjoyment. Thank you. Let me hire someone. Prioritize canisters. Prioritize. Prioritize. I don't know where the other canisters are. Oh, one's already in there. And this one. Oh, this one's here. Our canisters are brimming with our new colossal regeneration fluids. Excellent. Waiting in your docking bay. Let's get them sent out. I can't wait to see if this works. If it doesn't, we may all be going to jail. <laughs> Exciting! I Dispatch hope we're not going to jail. When you're ready, director. Dispatched. She's away! Keep an eye on the display, director. We'll see the fruits of our labors any moment now. We cured the boils. What room? Oh, the diagnosis the room. Spot. Glad to be rid of that itch. It felt like there was something different about you. And there's the proof. And before I go, I collect trinkets. Things traded or earned. I find these exchanges build interesting bonds between cultures. Have some of this stabilizing solution as thanks. Thanks. I got stabilizing solution. Postpones untimely death, allowing additional time for treatment may cause hair loss. This item can now be crafted. Thank you. I'm off. Thank you, Galactic Hair. I'm sure we'll see each other soon. Well, we've just treated a higher dimensional talking cetacean. I'm going to hold my breath until my heart rate comes down and map out these new organs. Maybe I'll name one after you. A delightful performance to watch, Director. The stabilizing solution Baz gave us has remarkable properties. It'll fully replenish the health of any patients you use it on. Rather handy if there are specific people you'd rather didn't uh, uh, die. Should you ever have need of more, you can make use of the craftium we've been collecting to fabricate them from the inventory panel. I just hired a psychopath? Wait, I just got an Xbox achievement, hire a psychopath? Always damages patients and doing so makes them happy dead bodies don't apply negative mood. You're good. I oh, know, but you're doing diagnosis, so are you damaging patients though? I don't know, we've got a psychopath in, in diagnosis now, so that's gonna be interesting. Open a hospital rating bottom left. Oh, down here. Hospital rating. Nowhere to sit times two, but I just added a whole bunch of benches. Undecorated area. Nowhere to sit. Moderate weight. 29 treatments completed in the last five minutes, and that's that's not good. That's in the red zone. Oh, I have a spreadsheet of finances. Okay, there's so many numbers. I can't even look at that right now. That is stressing me out. <laughs> I need more curious decorations, but I don't think I have curious decorations. Director, Ms. Orion has sent over the details of a new room. Something about uh, investing in people. What a novel concept. Okay, a novel concept. How do I get curious decorations? <gasps> There's a shop! Wait, how am I just finding out about the shop and how do I go back? I just clicked on... A call is pending, Director. I know that. Oh, this is curious decorations. So we need some more of these. We can put this in the bathroom, maybe. No, we can't. Yes, we can. Or, or, do we make this like a little bathroom privacy looking screen thing? 
Let's go back to looking at the shop. Slice operator. <gasps> Medibot skins. You can change this. Oh, look at these plants. Upgrades to species. Oh, reputation rewards from the species. Human is the one we're most furthest along. <gasps> Look at all the different ailments you can get. Air freshener. Mmm. Kind of what the fish take. Rubber bone. Every hospital needs one. Can I get this? Alright, I bought the fish tank. Fish tank. Oh, it's so small. That's okay. Where do I put it? I guess I put it behind reception. Everybody can look at it there. Yes, I am myself rather familiar with what it feels like to freeze in the face of new information. All right, let's answer this call. The training room is an environment in which our staff can gain experience with safe, gentle, ethical brainwashing with the memories of experts in their field. It can be a bit much for their neuroplasticity to fully absorb, as well as pass out which families actually belong to them. Nothing too serious, though. Safe and ethical brainwashing is occurring in here. All right, training matrix, a three by three room is required. Can be trained with other people's memories? Can I go? No. Director, let's get a training room built so we can help our staff become their best selves, whether they like it or not. Alright, I'm gonna put a training room over here near the staff room. Oh, it's costing me $10,000 to build a training room? Oh, is this space even big enough? A fine, fresh training room. Now, oh, let's teleport a doctor in. They'll begin training immediately. Okay. What's up? This is a doctor? Trying to sign. There we go. You're in the training room. Director, heal. There's a little. What is this? Solox. Solox are attracted by clean and tidy corridors. Collecting them will get you three thousand five hundred credits. Not. Oh, Creature get them. They're like treasure there. goblins. Get Should them. I zap it? That's a Solox. Uh, Director, these critters are entirely harmless, and will deposit a large number of credits into our account when you cash them. That's why they can open accounts of their own. I'm. The banking sector is a disaster. The banking sector is a disaster. Ain't that the truth? Hello okay. again, Galactica. I thought I'd pop back in and offer you some of. Okay, thank you, but I also am down a doctor because now I've got a doctor in training. Put you in the skin lab. All right, what do you got? I'll exchange any item for some credits, and just for you, there's always a freebie. Right now, I've got a. Hollow Dock, I think you call it. Oh, and I've also got a Medibot. Found him adrift in space a while ago. He was just spinning, really. Purchase an item, and I'll transport it over to your inventory. As for the Hollow Dock, I must insist that you take it. It keeps popping into existence inside my spleen. Subsonic dampener dramatically increases room durability by means of literal vibes. Just the vibes. Allows the room to rack up credits like real estate your grandparents bought for two chicken. <laughs> this game is too real. Oh my god. Actually, this is going to increase my credits, right? That's what I want. Check out. Must be inside a room, okay. Let's put it in the diagnosis room. Ah, 
What if our doctors has leveled up? Let's take a closer look. Select nice. them when you're ready. Uh, who leveled up? Oh, this one? Level 1 doctors will start out as trainees, and upon reaching level 2, you're able to assign them an expertise, which will allow them to work far more effectively in one specific room. Select an expertise to continue. Here, you can see the options for this doctor's expertise, which are based on the rooms they've worked in while in your hospital. Oh, they've worked everywhere. Continue. They've worked everywhere. They're currently in the burning chamber, though, so let's make that your efficiency. It's a fine choice. Try to assign experts to the relevant rooms. It'll help keep your patients alive and your workforce content. Excellent. Oh, this person also leveled up. Diagnosis is your expertise. Director, something we haven't yet covered is Medibot modes. Hey, that's me! Yes, it is, Medi. Well done. Uh, Director, select a Medibot to continue. Here, we can see the configuration of this Medibot. Adjusting this will focus them on specific tasks. You can mm. also use this window to change the appearance of your Medibots in the event that you share that particular fascination with our previous director. They can be burning chamber skins. You didn't change that, though. We completed our orientation protocol. Excellent work. Oh, he did. He looks different. He's got his burning chamber outfit on. Do I get paid again? Nice. This is the point of the game where you regret every decision you make about where you place rooms and want to start again because now you understand how everything works. Or like mostly understand. I'm like, I just want a clean slate again. Can I, can we redo this? Well, I managed to get my first galactic hospital up and running. It's a little bit of a mess. It's a little bit all over the shop, but we figured it out eventually. We've got almost a four star rating. I find that the thing that has kept my rating down is the decorations. I've been doing a little bit more decorating. Uh, undecorated areas or lightly decorated areas because there are certain rooms where I have no decoration in. I've done like a lot of the lobby areas now have decorations, but the diagnosis and treatment rooms need more decorating. I find at the beginning of the game though, you don't have a lot of options, but we're slowly collecting more. Like I just unlocked the soul flowers uh, by completing orientation, I also unlocked a new poster and a new rug, which I've added. So it looks like as we play, we're going to get more and more things. And of course, we do have the ability to purchase some things once we earn the credits for it. I'll have a link down in the description if you want to check out Galacticare for yourself. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe and hopefully I'll catch you in the next one.